we stress? <laughs> no, I'm not stressed at all. No, he's not, not stressed. <laughs> he's not stressed. This is not a stressed body. <laughs> <laughs> because I think, isn't it like this? The more relaxed you are, and the more you can push this uh, race mode ahead of you, that you are. I like longer to, to suffer, that it gives you more power to... I hope so, that's how I tend to think. I always I think, think to myself, it's like, you know, preparing yourself for a battle, a war, you, yeah. you, oh, you lay low, you look after yourself, you, you try and calm your mind and calm your body, because, yeah, Saturday's horrific. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's eight hours, but it goes so quick in your, in your head, you sometimes... Mm -hmm. It's moving so fast, you try and slow it down because at the moment when that pain hits and, mm -hmm. and you're uncomfortable and you're suffering, your mind's going a million miles an hour. So I always like to, you know when you're tired, you don't think very well, if you haven't slept a lot, you're, you're, you're scattered. I always try and make sure that come race day I'm rested. I've given my body that break. So it's ready to go to the well and take more water out. It's ready to, it's prepared to respond. It's, like, okay, you looked after me, I'll look after you this time. We're mm -hmm. even, you know, that type of mindset. Yeah. You've done a lot to look after it. Yeah, I've done a lot to look after it. <laughs> yeah. It'll be good. You yeah. cut your hair this time or you just leave it like this? I think I'll leave it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's keeping you cool. So do I. I think it might <laughs> hold a bit more water. And, yeah, it's... Um, and it looks good. Like a tennis ball. <laughs> like a tennis ball, yeah, because I think of, I can think so of Federer yeah. when I'm out there. <laughs> yeah. No, you always look for little signs. Funny, in the days before, you're looking for, not that I'm superstitious by any means, yeah. but you're always looking for re personal reinforcement. Mm -hmm. You know, like, okay, that's good. Oh, the muscles feel great. That's a positive. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a tick. Yeah, that's a yeah, tick. Yeah, you know, yeah. oh, I didn't have to do my bike. That was easy. That's a tick. You know, all these things that are. Yeah, if you are in the flow, if you can. Yeah, if it's stay, going yeah. in the flow and everything's working well, and uh, you know, and you're always looking for little. Oh wow, that happened. That's a sign. So it's. Um, and this time around, I've had all these little things that have been. Very positive. Pretty positive. Yeah. So yeah. it's good. It's good. I'm yeah. also very happy to see that. Yeah. It's really. So smooth and Yeah. Compared to the months before we had, where we had all these yeah. things. But it's funny, I was saying, I, I remember saying if I won, I wouldn't come back. Yeah. I'd like to do other things. You always tend to come back, but I've said it a few times. I think I wouldn't mind having a year here in a different capacity. Yeah. You know, and focusing on some other key events, some other races I've always wanted to do that I always give up because of this race. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, next year they got clear water in Las Vegas. Or the 70 clear water in Las Vegas, yeah. exactly. Seventy point three worlds are now moved to Las Vegas, so that's a September race. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, and that'd be good. There's a uh, more space. Yeah, so I'll enjoy this year. I think I'll enjoy it. And we wait till after the race. What's going to yeah. happen? Well, it's one thing you know, you've got to finish the day. Like it's a, I always think of it like a circle. Uh -huh. You know, you start at the pier and uh -huh. no matter where you are, you've got to complete the circle. So uh -huh. you either complete the circle as quickly as possible or you're ultimately at the end of the day, you went back at the pier. If you've uh -huh. pulled out, you still end back at the pier. You're either happy or you're sad. <laughs> yeah. So you may as well. And I think when you're stressing out or you're, or you're, you're falling apart out there mentally and physically, uh -huh. And sometimes you let your mind drift. Mm -hmm. You need to bring yourself back to that simple fact that it's that moment right then that ultimately determines the outcome of the day for you. So you have to stay in that have moment. Have you got certain tools to stay focused during the race? I mean, that helps yeah, you I always try and drift away. Stay in the moment. When you start to drift, you know you're, uh, you're in a bad way. But it's always focus on the moment, focus on the things you can control and expect it. I think a lot, you know, a lot of people I talk to pre-race are always, oh, what do you think about when it's going to get painful out there? It's, I'm like, well, let me tell you, right now, it's going to get painful. You know what I mean? There's no, no matter how much training you do, no matter what you do, there's going to be a point where we all face it, that you're suffering. So number one, the first thing to deal with it is 
be prepared for it. So when it comes, you don't freak out. Oh, mate, it's the end of the world. I'm not going to finish because we all feel that way. And then you just deal with it. You have to focus on the things you can control. I always think breathing, rhythm, and nutrition. So it's, um, you know, and if you focus on those things and go for a little checklist, you know, you might feel bad, you might have a shot of caffeinated mm -hmm. sh shot or uh, focus on your rhythm. But you do it all by feel. All by feel, yeah, but you, you try and go for a checklist because it's, um, yeah, it's, it's going to happen. Like nobody, if you don't, uh, if people are lying if they say there's no point in this race, it hurts, they're absolutely lying. Either that or they walk the whole way. <laughs> You know, and even that would hurt. It's all you know what I mean? Even exactly. for those slow guys. Yeah, even taking even that would hours. hurt. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's impossible to do this in any any way and not and not be in some sort of discomfort. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. The pleasure of pain is strange, huh? Yeah. So about the limits. Is pain, like, is this the same as being at the limits or is it where are the limits or is it something else? It's funny, it's um, no, because sometimes you're in no pain but things aren't going well. It's agony more than... Yeah, but no, but even sometimes you're, it's not as if it's, you're in absolute pain, you can't keep, sometimes it's like your, your body's not responding. It's a, a, a feeling of lethargy. And it's not as if that's grossly discomfortable, you know, uncomfortable. You know, that you're like, oh, I can't push anymore, I can't go on. It's like your body loses its rhythm, loses its feel for moments. And it's like, oh, I just can't do this anymore. You know, you start having these sort of thoughts. It's too fast, it's uncomfortable, you know. I think it's your body's natural defense mechanism to say, hey, I'm not happy with what we're doing here. You know, and I think you have to just bear with it because then your body, the trained body, is, it's, it's like it's, it's a different being. Mm -hmm. And if you keep telling it for a while, look, we're going to keep doing this, it starts to cooperate. But it'll always throw up, you know, obstacles in the way and those obstacles are usually discomfort or, or uh, you know, these feelings of lethargy and then as the race, as you start to run out of muscle glycogen and you're running out of stores of fuel, then the agony comes. Then the sheer body breakdown comes. And I think it's more, I don't know, I can only talk as a bigger guy, but knowing some of the athletes I know, and you know, Ronnie and these bigger guys, I think for the bigger guys, that, I'm making it sound tougher, I think that pain is a lot worse. <laughs> the, pound, the pounding, the... You know, because these... Why do you assume this and the other... I don't know. You just... You, see, you look at little blokes, they just don't seem to suffer as badly. They make it look a lot easier, I guess. Big Maybe muscles, it's just, big sore. Yeah, big muscles, big sore. Probably that's... <laughs> I don't know whether that's... any. I don't know, but it just seems that... You know, if you watch the way a little guy can run, their knee lift can be a lot higher. You know, you watch Crowley, a railer, a Brucht, uh, a Greg Welsh back in the day, and you compare them to a... Myself, a Ronnie, a Jürgen Zach, a loaf for later, and look at our knee lift. We have to shuffle more. We can't lift and drive because the pounding, we fatigue and get sore a lot quicker. So we shuffle a lot more than the smaller guys. The smaller guys have much more, I guess we have the advantage of longer stride. But it's a biomechanic. Yeah, I think this, this racing is... It's like a, a spring that... Yeah, you, and you watch them, that's why... These little guys can run in these funny shoes, these Newton shoes and these... I see these big guys putting them on, I'm like, what are you thinking? Uh -huh. Like, it's... I just don't think they... They suit a bigger athlete. Bigger athletes doing this sort of stuff can't get that big knee lift. You know, I, you look at them, you know, I always study those videos. I want, I'm amazed how Timo and, and Andreas and Crowey run with their knee lift. And you compare that to, you know, and some of the bigger guys are still doing well. Like Ronnie's a 248 boy, you know, and I've run fast here. We don't have that drive, that knee drive that they have. It's more of a lift drop, lift drop, where they lift glide drop. And I think it's got something to do with, you know, and number one, your height, whether it's your centre of gravity, and number two, your weight. You're going to try to save that 
muscle soreness because I compare it to when I was doing World Cup days. Mm-hmm. I had much more knee drive, much more mm-hmm. knee lift, a lot more. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know whether you naturally gravitate towards that as you start doing the longer bowls. Your body finds its natural mm-hmm. point because it's a clever machine. But yeah, it's. Do you see the weight difference a lot when you're uh, losing weight? Does it, makes, does it make a difference for you? I don't. Yeah, I think you feel like you're running better. But uh, I honestly believe it's there's a fine line in this Ironman stuff. Everyone's so weight paranoid because they're coming out of the short course stuff, and I think this is a lot of the inexperience of the little younger guys and a lot of the inexperience of the ITU guys coming across. And they'll learn their lesson like I did. I came in here too skinny the first couple of years, mm-hmm. and you can't compare yourself with a Craig Alexander who is a naturally skinny guy. Yeah, it's very you know, you go, well, Craig's 64 kilos. Then I need to be 64 kilos. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's it's not that. It's um, you know, it's yeah. You need a bit of. I think you need a bit of power. I, I look at someone going into this race honestly. Honestly, I look at a, a Ronnie. Yeah. With more fear than a than a than a Bruckt or a. Yeah. I just think Ronnie's a strong guy. Okay, he has this swim that makes his day a lot harder here because he's not with the front boys. And he's going to spend a lot more of it on his own. But the strength that he has for the back end of this race, from hour seven to hour eight, when it matters, when the race is won, that's a huge plus, huge plus. And if he have, if he can have the mind strength, which he has had in years past, to go, you know what, race in my race here. Yeah. I'm not going to try and make up my swim deficit in the first 50 miles. I'll just play it out and finish at the pier. Far out, he could go all the way. He's the type of guy that where the guys who are in the mix all the time and are proactive trying to make moves and go with the moves and can often blow their game, blow their race. Yeah, yeah just finishing. Got to get me massages, mate. <laughs>